all right guys so today uh, this is going to be a very informative video for people who want to bleed brakes especially uh, if their you know brake uh, levers are tight so this is specifically done for a subscriber who is a very old subscriber so he asked me this question yesterday of whether uh, we can do something about uh, this being very tight okay so uh, there are a couple of things that we are going to you know discuss before we get into the problem uh, first thing is uh, why this could happen and before that i'll explain you the components of the front disc braking system so this part is called the master cylinder okay the job of master cylinder is to actually convert this motion into hydraulic force so what you have inside is brake fluid which also acts as a hydraulic fluid so what happens is every time you press this um, there is a pressure built up here and which is transferred b uh, down to this hose this is called brake hose um, through uh, brake fluid so it's hydraulic pressure which gets transferred down so master cylinder brake hose now the final component is the uh, brake caliper so what happens is this pressure travels inside and there are two pistons inside here so when this pressure uh, is exerted on these pistons these pistons move inside which in turns uh, which in turn close the uh, or you know make the brake pad rub against the brake rotor and that is what causes the braking force okay so we have spoken about what each components do now let's discuss about the problem which our subscriber has so he is saying that this is very tight okay so usually it should be like this okay so a little bit of play the little bit of play is because you know you don't want always to ride um, your brakes when you're riding so there is a little bit of play is good and after this it gets loaded here so you cannot move all the way so no unloading and all of a sudden it becomes loaded so progressive load is what we want here okay so every time i press this brake what happens is the fluid actually goes through here and the, this bolt is called a banjo bolt so i'll tell you what it does okay so first i need to show you what a banjo bolt is so you can see there is a hole okay so this fluid actually goes through this hole and then there are two openings one on each side so this opening is where the uh, fluid squirts squirts out and it goes into um, this brake hose okay so sometimes what happens is this banjo bolt gets uh, blocked so this happens over a period of time if you don't use your bike regularly something might get stuck in this um, and also brake fluid has another issue which is it is so what happens is it catches water so when that happens there can be corrosion which can block this so first things first what you need to do is you need to uh, so first things first when you apply this brake uh, brake fluid should travel from here through the hose all the way into the caliper so what you do is this is called the bleed nipple so you loosen this bleed nipple this is all usually uh, you can do this using a spanner don't use a plier otherwise uh, these grooves will go bad so make it loose a little bit and then when you press the fluid should come out of this bleed nipple if that happens then your entire system from here till here is working okay so where could be the problem like i said one the banjo bolt could be blocked second the master cylinder uh, might have some issue there is a piston inside it might be stuck so these can cause uh, this to become very tight and also if the caliper is gone bad and the pistons are not moving it is stuck this can happen so first things first what you do is you find out where the problem is so you checked until the bleed screw the fluid is coming that means the master cylinder is absolutely fine there is no issue with the master cylinder if the master cylinder is fine that is when you will get fluid coming out of the uh, bleed screw so usually uh, what you need to do is you need to take out the caliper and then you need to replace the uh, there are 
couple of o-rings that come inside there so once you replace those o-rings and the pistons usually pistons are uh, metal cups so those things corrode and if they corrode they get stuck so if that is taken care of this hardness will go and it will start working so rebuild the caliper or you know if you can do what i did i bought an aftermarket r15 caliper so that is absolutely perfect but uh, certain calipers don't you don't get rebuilt kits for certain calipers like rxz uh, rebuild kit is very difficult to get so that is the reason why i use an r15 then again gladiator rebuild kit is very difficult to get so depending on what um, caliper you have you can look at and get a rebuild kit once you rebuild the caliper also take this opportunity to rebuild the master kit cylinder so master cylinder has a piston inside and other stuff inside so it's better to rebuild that as well along with the caliper so once you rebuild this then you fill fresh fluid and everything will be fine so what i'm going to do is i filled this fluid couple of months back one second i do not have uh, any fresh fluid so i'm going to reuse whatever i'm going to take out of this uh, in the new master cylinder and then i'll show you guys on how you can bleed your brakes okay this is the simplest way in the world to bleed uh, these disc brakes so what you need for bleeding the brakes is you need a syringe a big syringe um, and then you need a, a tube which can fit over the uh, caliper as well as it can fit over the uh, syringe so this is what you need so i'm going to um, draw all the fluid out of the master cylinder after opening this and then after doing that i will remove all the things on the top and then i'll show you how to bleed it okay so as you can see i have drained out the entire master cylinder now we will take apart uh, the hose and the banjo bolt this is the banjo bolt okay so before that i'll remove the mirror we have removed the mirror so next we have to remove these two uh, bolts which are 8 mm so I'll use my T-spanner to remove these two and this should come out easily. So another important thing is before you remember understand when you lower this there will be more fluid coming into the reservoir so before you take this apart completely make sure you drain that fluid as well so i am going to do this off camera because it is difficult to do it with one hand okay so i will take some more draw some more fluid out of this when you know once uh, i remove this okay so now we have installed the master cylinder we have fixed the mirror the banjo bolt is connected the switch i will connect later so basically i need to you know connect that in the doom so that is something which we are not going to cover in this so before you start filling just make sure the position uh, that this uh, brake lever lies in is as per your convenience so adjust that and then start filling so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to fix a spanner um, which is of the exact size of the bleed valve so in this r15 bleed valve an 8 mm spanner will fit um, and in pulsers and all i think it is 11 so this is the simplest way of doing it okay so now you have preloaded the brake fluid into the pipe you have uh, removed as much air that you can remove so <clears throat> once we start filling it uh, the fluid should travel up and it should go into the master cylinder and fill that so that would mean that there would be no air in the system okay so let's start doing that so first what you need to do is you make it little loose so i have fixed the bleed valve i've loosened it a bit and as you can see there is not much air in the system so i'll start pressing the syringe now So 
So as you can see, the fluid has started entering the system. So we have some fluid in the pipe. Once that also gets transferred into the system, it will be completely blocked. So that's how my friends, you bleed a brick. See, it is 100% fixed. I just need to top up the fluid a bit, which I will do. So that is the easiest way of bleeding bricks. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, like, share and subscribe. And we will have a lot of videos which are of the similar kind. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.